September 1st through the 22nd, the sun in Virgo is going to be transiting your seventh house. This is going to be a time where the spotlight is on relationships and very important partnerships. Welcome back to Uprise Friends. Before we begin, I want to let you know a few very important things about today's reading, especially if you're new to astrology. These readings are for your rising sign and your sun sign. If you know both, then you can obviously check out both of And I wanted to share this information with you before we dive into your horoscope for this month. But before we begin, I want to introduce myself. My name is Alan Skye. I'm an astrologer and numerologist. I'm best known for cutting right through the noise and getting the most important messages to you. My intention is to help any present day visionary to live their best life. So if you like what I offer on this channel, then let's hang out, subscribe, ring the bell so that it notifies you every time I put out a new forecast or horoscope. I'm happy that you are here and let's dive into your horoscope now. This is also an excellent time to focus on attachments. Attachments to people, attachments to money, attachments to things, things that we quite obsess over or things that we have a deep sort of connection with that we think we cannot live without. This is a time where this could be under review. You are going to take a look at why you have these attachments and you start to begin to see that some of these attachments might not feel so good in your life anymore and you're wanting to cut ties with them. So it's an excellent time to start to begin the process to do that. September 23rd through the 30th, the sun is going to now enter Libra and join the party in the eighth house that is unfolding when it comes to attachments. This is going to start to illuminate for you to see what it is that you're trying to actually change about yourself and your life and what you're trying to liberate yourself from. There is a sense of freeing that is going to come out of this Sun in Libra transit, but the beginning of this, which is going to be September 23rd through the 30th, when the Sun is transiting from zero degrees until seven, what are some of the things in your life that you feel loyal to that you no longer want to feel loyal to because it just doesn't make sense to you anymore? Quite frankly, this attachment could be causing a misery in your life. And so you want to kind of cut ties with it. So you're reviewing these aspects of your life. Financial matters could tie into it. People could tie into it or the management of some kind of resources with somebody else could tie into this as well. And again, I just want to mention this for many of you. This is an excellent time to change financial outcomes. If you are looking for financial support of some sort, to create a particular outcome in your life, this is going to be an excellent time to dive into the details of that and what that is going to look like, especially between you and another person. You could have a very strong uh, sense of communicating this at this time and things can really look up in this area. It's an excellent time to kind of make that happen because you will have the support that you're looking for during this time. September 23rd, the sun is going to be conjunct Mercury at zero degrees in your eighth house. This is going to be one of those moments when you are going to start to, for the first time in your life, see a particular subject that felt very overpowering or very much with the themes of a burden or a challenge clear up. This is going to be a time where you begin to see the way out of a particular uh, energy or a situation or a challenge in your life that now you begin to see what actually needs to happen because the sense of loyalty is changing or the sense of trust is changing, the sense of the kind of space you want to hold for these types of themes in your life is almost in a way going to be uh, the kind of month where things are a little bit unexplainable because you again are able to actually deepen relationships on a level like never before. If you are working with another person on financial matters or on commitment levels, this is going to be a time where you could really take your commitment to a whole nother level. So with the sun Mercury conjunction here, the relationships are going to transform and this will also ultimately impact your intimacy and the way in which you're going to move forward financially as well. This Mercury sun conjunction is also going to help clear up confusion and perhaps give you for the first time 
this boost of confidence to even say something that you didn't realize that you needed to communicate, this is going to be a time where you're going to be able to deepen your connection to another person at a deeper level because you are ready to speak up about a challenge or something that was very confusing about you or about the situation. And as a result, there is a new level of trust that emerges because the conversations are engaging at a deeper level where you are allowing another person to actually get to know you better. The energy is just going to be good for that. You know, if you're looking to kind of uh, clear some kind of confusion or clear some kind of, you know, um, confusing part about yourself or why you were doing things the way you were, or even you seeking that understanding from another person, it's going to be an excellent time to get down to a clarity level like never before. On September 24th, Mercury then goes retrograde into Virgo. So it is still retrograde coming from Libra into Virgo from your eighth into the seventh house. This is when you're going to start to really work out details in your partnerships. What does the new level of trust and the new profound deepening of your relationship actually is going to look like inside of your relationships? You may want to lean into your partnership more or your partner wants to lean into you more. And so there is a weighing out of what that is going to look like and a working out in your communication that is going to unfold here. So ultimately, this is going to be a beautiful time for many of you because you're going to be able to work out what's necessary. So it may not be just a marriage or romantic partnership. It could be someone really important in your life where the both of you are dealing with uh, the same kind of, you know, legal matter or the same kind of, you know, work in business or some kind of partnership that is very important to you. So the both of you are going to work together and start to realize that together united, you are actually better than when you are trying to do things on your own or when you are not on the same page. So you're working out what it looks like to be in a true, you know, partnership, moving things forward for the future and holding that vision. September 26th, this is when the sun is going to be in your eighth house opposing Jupiter in your second house. This is going to be a very big day in the sense that you are going to start to uncover some blind spot when it comes to finances and what you need to do about values or luxuries in your life or areas of your life that um, require money, money investments of some sort. You could be seeing now for the first time that your belief about what it is that you actually need or what it is that you need to defend or protect are changing. So you're going to redistribute somehow finances, physical matters, or even productivity and how that actually impacts your growth in general to up level value or to take your financial goals to the next level, your beliefs are going to change about that. And at the same time as this opposition is happening, there is going to be a Venus Mercury conjunction that is going to unfold in Virgo in the seventh house. This is going to be backed up by partners. This is going to be backed up by legal you know, matters. This is going to be backed up in some kind of, you know, paperwork that you may need it. There is going to be somehow a change now that is occurring when it comes to the finances, when it comes to your beliefs, but then you also committing to a brand new outlook in the financial realm and in the, you know, what it is that you own and maybe even real estate at some level and how that commitment is now going to unfold is going to look very different than what you imagined. Now, the other very interesting thing that is happening on this day is that the Venus Mercury conjunction is going to form a trine to Pluto. Pluto is in your 11th house. So the future and what the future actually holds and your connection to friends, your social reputation, and your connection out there into the world is going to now shape very differently as well. There is a possibility that comes up here that you have not considered before. So you might think about where you want to take this up leveling or this sort of new sense of value that you're creating in your life, where you want to take it next. Ultimately, Pluto here is showing you that your role inside of social settings, your reputation or friendships or very important connections 
are going to shape very differently for the better stuff that you didn't imagine before so there is a level of excitement behind it but also a level that is very reassuring to your future that's a wrap on today's horoscope thank you so much for listening thank you for being here don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up have a great month ahead and see you in the next video